YouTube, this is Dr. Sola coming to you from Lagos, Nigeria. So you could see it is raining. And if you live on solar, what do you do? I'm 100% on solar. I'm not connected to the grid, I'm not connected to anything. So what does that mean? Does that mean that because there is no sun, as you can see, you can see my panels, they're not seeing any sunshine. They're producing about 18 watts right now. So what does it mean? Am I able to have a light even though I do not have a grid? The answer is yes. So if you know enough about solar, there are many ways you can charge your panel. You can charge your batteries, right? Your solar panels are one. The grid is two and three is a generator. If you listen, you can hear the generator going, right? The generator right now is charging the batteries, but there are challenges with generators, especially when you're running your gasoline generators, they struggle to charge some hybrid inverters. So what have we done with the one we have? When we turned it on initially and we set the charge current to a certain number, the inverter will go off. Sorry, the inverter will disconnect from the generator. So it will try to charge and then it will drop. So it kept doing that for a while. And what did Mohammed, my technical team manager do? Mohammed went and reduced the charge current and then it started charging and then as the generator warmed up he slowly increased the charge current till he got to the point where the generator could handle the load that the charging of the batteries were so let me rephrase that he reduced the charge current so the rate at which he could charge the batteries to the point that it became acceptable to the generator and the generator was able to charge the batteries. So let's start again. A lot of you that have hybrid inverters have this challenge where your gasoline generator is not able to charge. Well, I can, we've always been able to charge with the, so we've always been able to charge the Solax inverters with generators, but we seem to have found an extra wrinkle charging with generators. And what's that? On the initial startup, especially a generator like ours that doesn't get used on initial startup it overwhelms the generator and the generator cannot manage it now there is a gen um there is a external there is a generator option in the in the inverter that you could activate so for whatever reason is not working on ours so what we've done is we manually go in and adjust the charge current and then as it picks up, um, as it picks up the low charge current, it's charging it, and then we slowly ramp it up till it gets to that point. We'll bring this up to Solax and ask them if they could do the same thing with the, um, the setting that allows for an external generator and see if it will work again. It worked before it stopped, and this is how we got, this is how we got around it. So if you, have, if, you have a, if you have a different hybrid, try it and see if it works. If it works, post in the comment section below and tell me how you made it work and if what I just told you, suggested to you, is very helpful. Once again, this is Dr. Sola coming to you from Lagos, Nigeria.